let's do some examples that combine reference angles with coterminal angles. For example, let's say I want to find the secant of 390 degrees. Since 390 degrees is more than 360, we can use its coterminal angle by taking away 360. So really what we're finding here is the secant of 30 degrees. Okay, so drawing our angle of 30 degrees, which would be in the first quadrant, then extending that back down to the x-axis to make a right triangle. Because we're already in the first quadrant, the reference angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so that means that the opposite is 1, the adjacent is square root of 3, hypotenuse is 2. So then the secant of 30 degrees, which is the same thing as secant of 390 degrees, the reciprocal of cosine. If cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, then secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. All right, let's look at another one. Let's say the cotangent of 8 pi over 3. I'm going to change that to a mixed number. So this is the cotangent. 3 goes into 8 twice with 2 left over. So this is more than 2 pi. So by using coterminal angles, if I take away a 2 pi, I'm left with 2 thirds of a pi. And we're going to get the same value. So I'm going to draw 2 pi over 3 now, which is coterminal with 8 pi over 3. Extend it back down to the x-axis. Okay, so if that angle is 2 pi over 3, then the reference angle would be 1 pi over 3. Or 60 degrees. So then the adjacent side is going to be, because it's in the second quadrant, negative 1. Opposite would be positive square root of 3. Hypotenuse is 2. So then cotangent of 2 pi over 3. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So then cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Okay, one more. Let's say we have the cosecant of negative 135 degrees. Okay. Again, we can use the coterminal angle by just adding 360. will still end up in the same spot, so that the cosecant will be the same. Okay, so adding the 360, you get 225. Okay, so I'm going to draw 225, which would be in the third quadrant. Take that back up to the x-axis. Okay, half a revolution is 180, so that another 45 gives us that 225. So because we're in the third quadrant, opposite and adjacent will both be negative 1. Hypotenuse squared to 2. Okay, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so then cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. 